Okay, so in this question they are asking us, determine the value of R which makes the surface area a maximum. So straight away you go find a formula for surface area. Now if you look at the, the shape, it's a cylinder. Now if you had to paint the outside, you would be painting a circle at the top and there would be a circle at the bottom. Now a circle area is pi r squared, but there's two of them, so we'll say 2 pi r squared. Now to paint the side, the stuff on the side, you could imagine taking one layer of a circle going around. Now we know that the length around a circle is 2 pi r, it's the circumference. Then what you would do is you would drag that up by the height so that you get all of the stuff on the outside, and so it will be 2 pi r h, and so we'll say plus. 2 pi r h. That's the surface area of a cylinder. Now the problem with this is you've got r and you've got h. You see, so you've got two variables. Pi is not a variable. Pi is a constant of about 3.14. So we need to replace. So what we do is we look for other information that they've given us and they've told us that the volume is 20 centimeter cube. Now the volume of a cylinder is area of base times height, which is the area of a base, which is a circle, so that's pi r squared, times by the height. And they've told us that that's 20, so we can do this. We can then get h alone, like that. We can then use that in the place of h in the other equation, and so the surface area would then become 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r, and then in brackets we can replace h with 20 over pi r squared. And so the surface area is going to be 2 pi r squared plus. Now you just want to multiply top and top and bottom and bottom. So that's going to become 40 pi r over pi r squared. We can then simplify this as the pi's would cancel and one of the r's would cancel at the top and bottom. And so you'd be left with 40 over r. Now to find minimums and maximums, we know that we would have to take the first derivative and make that equal to 0. So let's just neaten this up a little bit further, or a little bit more, before we take the first derivative. So you'll bring this r to the top like that. Now we can take the first derivative. So if, you, if you're a bit uncomfortable with pi, you just go and type that on the calculator, multiplied by 2, it'll give you 4 pi r. And then this minus 1 would multiply to the front, so it'll become minus 40 r to the negative 2. Now for first derivative, I mean for minimums and maximums, you make the first derivative equal to 0. And so we can say 0 is equal to 4 pi r. I'll take the r, t the r minus 2 to the bottom again, like that. What I would then do is take the 40 over r squared to the other side. And then I would multiply the r squared across. So you end up with 4 pi r cubed. I would then get the r cubed alone by dividing by 4 pi. But I wouldn't write it out in decimals, I'd leave it like that. And then I would take the cube root of all of that to get r alone. And so r would be 1.47. Now we always need to make sure that that's what the question asked. So if we go up here to the top it says determine the value of r.